at Pinner's conference where we were able to talk with Celeste from Ikea, who shares with us that even when you're going through hard things, there is no need to feel alone. And there are communities available that you can reach out and be a part of. The magazine. Yeah, I, I was blessed. I have three kids. I have two boys and a girl, and my daughter's in the middle. Um, they've, they're now grown up, and um, so they're just, my whole life, they've been such a blessing to me. Their father um, passed away five years ago of cancer, and so it's been quite a challenge and quite a journey for our family, and, you know, trying to be mom and dad, kind of, with him being gone, and, um, you know, bringing a new husband into the mix two years ago. And, you know, just, it's been really an interesting, interesting ordeal. Where do you feel like you found your, your strength? I mean, those, that's obviously, you just laid a lot out there in the past <laughs> few sentences, you know. And as a mother, I think we feel that, that weight, if I need to carry the happiness and peace in the home, and you're trying to kind of buffer all these outside forces, and you're trying to keep an environment for your kids that, where they feel safe. You know, how do you, how do you feel like that you were able to get through that um, and to keep carrying forward? You know, I've always been, my mom was a very strong person and, you know, she didn't, she's not a crier. She's just, you know, just kind of get it done kind of person. And so I think that that's the way I went through my husband's illness as well as when he passed away. You know, at the time I was just trying to stay strong and be mom and, you know, and, and kind of be dad too, which you can't be. You can't cover both. Um, I can't be him. And that was kind of hard to you know, kind of for all of us to come to terms with. You know, I was mom and I could be the best mom I could be, but, you know, I, I would never be able to fill his shoes. When, you know, I think as moms, we want to look like we can handle everything. And there was one point in my journey where I wondered why more people weren't offering help and more people weren't, you know, my yard's falling apart, my life, you know, all the, all the man jobs in my house were falling apart. And, you know, I wondered why people weren't helping me. And my mom said, because you tell them you don't need it. You tell them you're fine, you've got it, you know. And, and it was like, oh my goodness, I do. You know, can I do anything for you? No, I've got it. You know, why would they help me? They think I've got it. So if there is someone watching right now, what are some tips that you could give them? Just we're coming from that space of that loss, like what are some tips of coming through that? Or Just, I, I, you know, the biggest thing is, uh, you know, it sounds stupid, but breathe. And, um, and be patient with yourself. You know, at first I would shove myself into situations that I wasn't comfortable doing, but I thought I had to. And give yourself that time and just give yourself that space and permission to be sad and have a bad day. And, you know, you can try again tomorrow. You know, but don't wallow in it either. And don't, don't let yourself give up because they, they wouldn't want that for you. You know, and you still have a lot of years left and so you need to make your years. You know, it's an honor to, in my case, my husband, that I have a great life and that I help others and that I'm happy and you know that his children are happy and that's the honor that I do to him do for him yeah, it's kind of cheesy but I always thought of like that scene in the Titanic um, where she's on the ship and she's surrounded by pictures of what she had done in her life and you know and I think that my husband would be so I know that some of my adventures he just is giggling at the silliness of what I do and the craziness and that's I want him to be proud of me and just and to be like I can't believe she did that that's my girl you know and so that's that's why I do what I do so I just think you know if you could wrap up okay. You know, oh, you know how you find your passion, and you've shared so many amazing things already. But if you could encapsulate it into just a few words, what would that mean for you? Um, you know, and, and I think that's exactly it. It's finding your passion. You know, and I really, when you go through a loss like this, is you really look at your life and say, you know, if this was the end of my life, and it could be. You know, um, would I be happy with what I'm doing right now? Would I feel like, you know, how would people remember me? And what would what would they be? You know, and, and don't beat yourself up for the mistakes you make as a mom. We all do. You know, and just learn for it, from it. And let your kids see those mistakes because they're going to learn from them later as well. You know, and I would say that's probably my mommy style. It's perfect. Thank you.